Hi everyone, in this video we're going to find the six trig function values for 4 pi over 3. So find the six trig function values, put func values for 4 pi over 3. Okay, solution. So to do this, what you first have to do is find the reference angle for 4 pi over 3. So I'll draw the y-axis and draw the x-axis. And first you have to determine where 4 pi over 3 is. Okay, so 4 pi over 3 is a little bit bigger than pi because you can think of pi as a number over 3. So that would be 3 pi over 3. And then so 4 pi over 3 should be somewhere over here. So that's 4 pi over 3. So the reference angle is the positive acute angle made by the terminal side of theta, so that's this red line here, and the x-axis, which is this red line. So the positive acute angle between these two lines is right here. That's pi over 3. That's the reference angle. So what we do is we first find the trig function values for pi over 3. And then using the fact that we're in quadrant 3, we can determine the correct signs. Okay. So to find the trig function values for pi over 3, there's a couple ways to do it. Um, I have them memorized, so I know I'm just going to go, go with it. The sine of pi over 3 is the square root of 3 over 2. And so the cosine of pi over 3, it's the other one. It's, it's 1 half. Okay, so um, these, these always alternate between 1 half and square root of 3 over 2, and their signs sometimes alternate as well. So sine of pi over 3 is square root of 3 over 2. Cosine of pi over 3 is the other one. It's 1 half. To find the tangent of, four pi, of pi over 3, you would divide these. It's sine over cosine. So it would be square root of 3 over 2 over 1 half. That's square root of 3 over 2 times 2 over 1. Boom. It's square root of 3. And the other ones are easy because you just find the reciprocals. So the cosecant, that's the reciprocal of sine. That would be 2 over the square root of 3. Uh, the secant is the reciprocal of um, cosine. That's just 2 over 1, so 2. And then the cotangent, that's the reciprocal of tangent. That would be um, 1 over square root of 3. Okay, now that we have these, we can write our answer down, right? Because now we have to think about the quadrant we're in. So 4 pi over 3, that's in quadrant 3. Okay, so in quadrant 3, if you remember, cosine, it's, it's the x-coordinate. So cosine of, um, let's just say, theta is, is x over um, r, and sine of theta is y over r. So you can think of cosine as the x and sine as the y. Okay, if you already know what the unit circle is, r is equal to 1. So cosine is actually equal to x, and sine is actually equal to y. I'm just doing it this way, just in case you've never seen the unit circle. So cosine is the x, or has the x, and sine has the y. So over here in quadrant 3, x is negative, and sine is also negative, because y is negative. Both x and y are negative numbers, so they're both negative, because we're down here. Okay. If we were over here, then um, cosine would be negative, and sine would be positive. If we were over here, then let's see, the y is negative, so sine would be negative, and cosine would be uh, positive. Anyways, they're both negative in this case, so the sine of 4 pi over 3, that's negative square root of 3 over 2. Cosine of 4 pi over 3, that's negative 1 half. And then tangent of 4 pi over 3, well that's going to be positive, right, because negative over negative is, is positive, so still square root of 3. And then cosecant of 4 pi over 3. That's going to be negative 2 over root 3. And then secant of 4 pi over 3. That one's uh, also going to be uh, negative 2. And then cotangent of 4 pi over 3. That's going to be, you're just going to flip this one, right? And it's going to stay um, positive, so 1 over root 3. So these are the answers here, obviously, in yellow. So the key is you first find the reference angle, and then you find the trig function values for the reference angle, and then you think about the quadrant you are in. That's the best way to do it. Some people like to memorize the unit circle. That's a lot of work. It's better just to memorize the first quadrant and then use your skills of uh, where cosine and sine are positive to, to get the rest. 
Um, hope that made sense.